Okay, so let's use Word. We'll get some section headings in here, an introduction, maybe some background, and how about also some analysis. We'll go ahead and add some others later. You open up the toolbox and go over to the styles. Now you can also make all of these headings by hitting Command Option 1, but if you want to change them, you hit the little paragraph marker by the heading up there in the top of the toolbox. Um, to bring it into harmony with what your thesis advisor says it should be as far as formatting goes, you can change pretty much anything you want here. You can change the text style, make it bold, make it italicized, take those things off, change the text color, um, change the centering. You can even go and change paragraph options, uh, spacing, indentation, um, whatever you like to make it perfect for your formatting. When you're done and you've got what you like, you can go ahead and hit OK, and changing one of them will change all of them, which is nice so that you don't actually have to go back and find it. Again, you can go back through your paper, and after you've ty if you've typed your paper, just hit Command Option 1 um, with the cursor clicked inside of any of these. Let's add some text now. I've taken some song lyrics. Um, as you can see, I've chosen a little bit of umbop from Hansen there. That's in honor of one of your classmates who actually still listens to Hansen, according to them, but I won't tell you which classmate that is. So we've got all our text. Let's go ahead and insert a break so that we can insert our appendix. This is where we're going to put our images. Go ahead and type in appendix and make it a heading level 1 so that it will appear in the table of contents. And again, you can hit command option 1 in order to do that. Let's go ahead and insert images. Now this is very important. Insert from file and then using link to file. Do not insert it without linking to it. Just link to it. That keeps your space down. The how many megabytes your file is. Last year, or the year before last, we had a thesis that was one gigabyte in size. Every time the, this person would try and open their, their file, it would crash Word. It took forever to open, and it took even longer to print. It was absolutely ridiculous. So link to the file, as I'll show you here again. You insert picture from file, link to file, right down there at the bottom. Uh, insert your image. It just makes it a lot easier to work with the document. Um, so let's go ahead and insert a caption now, or insert our captions. Go insert caption, and let's call it images actually. So image, okay. So it says image one, so we can type in there and we can say the title of the work and who it's by in that caption as, as the text is formatted like there. And let's Go ahead and insert some more, and that all that stuff will appear in the table of contents uh, that, that's on the same line as image 1 or image 2. But let's go ahead and change the formatting so it's black, because your theses probably are not supposed to have blue text in them. Go ahead and insert that. The captions, of course, uh, inserting captions this way makes so that they are auto-numbered, which is also useful for saving time. So we'll insert a third caption. And you'll notice when we insert this caption, we're going to just leave it the way it is, but we're going to type something underneath the caption. Um, there you go. So we're going to maybe explanatory text or something to focus on. Now on to our table of contents. We've formatted the title, table of contents, and now we're going to say insert tables. Click on the table of contents, hit OK. Bam! There it is. All of your headings, your section headings that you've formatted properly using the right-hand side toolbox are in the table of contents automatically. So now we'll go ahead and insert our table of images. So we type table of images and then again command option 1 makes it properly formatted. So now we go to the insert menu and index and tables. Click on tables and figures, or tables of figures, and it automatically inserts our table of captions. The entire caption will be there. Any explanatory text under the caption is not in the table of contents. Now we've made some changes. Let's go ahead and right click on the table and click update field. 
and we want to update everything in the table. And there we have it. We've added some stuff and that shows up in the table of contents automatically. You don't have to worry about page numbers updating because we've done it in the proper way.